So for this week, I'm going to be heading down to Idaho to meet up with uh, a buddy of mine. His name is Ken, and his channel name is Off-Road Hub. It turns out that he is back in his home state, and I wanted to go down and visit him. So right now, I'm making my way down, currently in West Yellowstone. I'm actually at a friend's house, waiting for him to get done with work. The next day. It's only 11.30 right now, and I'm only about, an, I think about an hour and a half away from basically where I'm going to camp. So I wanted to take a little bit of a detour and go on a road I've never been on before. So let's head down Mesa Falls Scenic Byway and see what we can find. I'm going to guess there's probably a waterfall down here somewhere. Pretty cool old building right here. Oh, it's unfortunate that it's closed. I was really looking forward to going in there. This is a really incredible waterfall. I'm glad I spent $5 <laughs> to see it. Well worth it. Oh, you see the little weasel? Well, that thing was cute. I hope this thing picked it up. Man, can you imagine kayak or canoeing down this for the first time, you know, in pioneering days, and then coming upon this. That would be, that would be slightly terrifying. <laughs> All right, well, I think I have seen enough of this waterfall. Now it's time to keep on trucking down the road. Oh my God, do you see that? World's best corn dogs. I have been jonesing for a real, like old school carnival style corn dog for, it's gotta be 15 years or so. So I think this is a sign from God that I need to go and try one of those corn dogs. <laughs> oh, these things smell and look amazing very healthy i'm sure too i wonder why i'm fat <laughs> oh. Oh. i somewhat regret my decision but those were so good <laughs> wow snow buzz world's best corn dogs mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. delicious well here we are in uh, St. Anthony's Sand Dunes. It's not exactly the best views I've ever seen before, but it's, it's an interesting uh, change of pace from my typical out in the, out in the woods, up in the mountains, kind of neat. So yeah, let's uh, set up camp, I suppose right about here. This looks as good as the spot is anywhere. And then, make our way towards the sound of some other UTVers. Hopefully be able to find somebody to ride with.
leaving. What are you doing? Well, here we are. Uh, I've been riding around in this area now for about an hour and I'm already kind of over it. I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably just head back because I've got a bunch of editing to do and I wanna be able to get these videos out every Sunday and if I don't take care of that now, I might not be able to drop it in time. So yeah, let's make our way back and hunker down for the evening. What are you doing? Well, good morning, everybody. I am currently following uh, a dust cloud. <laughs> it's very, very dry and dusty out here right now. We're on our way out to uh, this area called Hell's Half Acre. We're gonna do some off-road today in this nice, incredibly windy day. Let's uh, cruise on down this road and check out this new area to do a little off-roading and maybe even camping tonight.
was a little, that was a little too easy. Maybe I should have made it. Yeah. Chosen a different line. Make it a little bit more impossible. Maybe you take your line. I thought my line was too easy. I was a little disappointed after. I was like, I you, should. You should need to switch out your 42s for some 30s for this kind of stuff. What? Smaller tires make it harder. What? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go to 44s next. Holy oh. sh! Mm. Right. That's a little high. <laughs> um, let's try a different line. Alright, no rolling over. No. Nope. Burning, burning belts though. <laughs> yeah. See, it's getting worse. Dust. Uh, it looks like waiting for the wind to die down, but that's not going to happen, is it? No. Uh, it looks like we got a little bit of trail damage here. Fortunately, Jesse and his FJ here broke a uh, lower control arm. Broke it in half, unfortunately. So we're out here in some very, very windy dust storm conditions. <laughs> Going around trying to find a uh, find a solution to the problem. Well, top of the morning, everybody. I've been here for a couple days now. I think it's time to hit the road. Originally, I wanted to stay here so that I could finish editing my last video and then upload it, but it turns out that the upload speeds here are pretty atrocious. We're gonna head down the road towards Jackson Hole. I've never been there before. And stock up on groceries and maybe grab a bite to eat in town there and then figure out where the heck I'm going to go after this. Well, that's not good. I, it turns out that I have a uh, slow leak in my, in my trailer tire. So I think what I'm going to do is, instead of swapping it out with my spare, I'm just going to keep rolling on it. And I'm going to break out my handy little portable 12 valve, 12 volt, pump. Let's get this thing aired up so we can get on the road. All right, 
right, so my battery is right down in here. And conveniently enough, I've got this dump bed on here, which enables easy access to my engine, my earbox, all my fluids and everything. It's a big perk of, of this machine. This is a pretty good bang for your buck, I must say. It only cost me a couple hundred dollars, and it has saved my butt many times. Having onboard air is a necessity when you're doing any overlanding or any light to heavy off-roading because airing down your tires not only helps in traction, but it makes your ride a lot smoother. I'm at about seven PSI. Yes! Awesome, it works. Now I just gotta turn this thing on and... Get this thing up to about 45 to 50 PSI. All right, it looks like we're good to go. She settled down to about 48 PSI, which means I'm pretty safe to drive on it for now. I think at my next destination, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pull this tire off, replace it with my spare, and then see if I can't find the slow leak and patch it. But in the meantime, let's get everything all wrapped up and make our way into Wyoming. <laughs> 